All right, guys, what is up? Today we are doing a little Christmas craft for my baby. So she has these little figurines over here, nativity scene, and we just had the figurines. She found them in like some old decorations and she wants a little manger. And so she's been bugging me for like a week to make her a manger. So I'm gonna go make her a little manger. Um, I got this off of another channel here if you wanna check them out, uh, Lovely ETC or Lovely Etc. I'm not sure how you say it. But I got the idea from them, the way that they did it. Might make it a little bit different, a little bit custom dimensions, but I got it from them. So if you wanna check them out, check them out, guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're just using scrap pieces of cedar that we had left over from other projects and when we did the house and stuff. As always, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you like, hit that like, that subscribe down below. And Merry Christmas, guys. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so this is what we're kind of the idea. All right, so our base piece we're using this is two and a half, two and an inch piece, but it's a one by eight cedar. Um, and this is gonna be the base piece that it's gonna sit on. This is the thickest piece. And we're gonna do it 22 inches wide, so we're just gonna cut it. Real quick, thank you to Maglife for sponsoring today's video, guys. And this is the ML300L 4D LED long running flashlight. Whether you're out on the job looking to be prepared for an emergency or just looking for a great gift for that someone, this is the one guys, 1002 lumens bright, super bright. It can run up to 18 days on eco mode and five hours on high mode. And the light beam can reach over five football fields long. It's water and drop resistant and all those features come in a sleek design aluminum case. So if you're looking for quality, reputation and reliability in a flashlight, click the link below and check out everything else Maglite offers. <laughs> Alright guys, we got it laid out. So, originally these are just a butt joint like that, which I get. But, I think we're going to do 45s on this, and on this, and on these right here. Just to make it cleaner. So, I'm going to take each one of these, mark them off, 45 degree cuts, and it's only going to be 4 cuts. Which, if you have a miter saw, um, that's all you're going to need. So, these are going to be the hardest cuts here. Where's my pen? All right, so I want it right on the edge, so I'm just mark right, and this is my outdoor side, and we'll go right up to this line. All right, and that's the little piece that we're gonna get rid of right there. to decide where we're gonna put some pocket holes to hold it. So I'm thinking on these two, right here on the insides, and then on these two, right here on the outsides underneath these, to hold on to these. And then on one of the feelings. So we're gonna mark them on one, two, and then on this side, I'm gonna do one, two, on this side, one, two. We're gonna sand these a little bit so that'll come off. And then on these, we'll do one, two, one, two. All right, so we know where all our pocket holes are gonna go. Two seconds later. So I wanted to do the pocket screws on the outside here, but if I do them on the outside, they're, they're gonna go pointed this way. So I'm gonna have to do them on the inside so they can point this way. What I mean, because they go like this, 15 degree angle. So I'm gonna have to do them on the inside. All right, this is the Craig, the Craig Pro 720 jig. So this is for making pocket holes, which is a form of joinery for woodworking. If you don't know, if you're new around here, but this is made by Craig, 
this is like $129. And if for us beginners that don't know a lot about like woodworking, joinery and stuff, this is a great way to get started. This is how I've been making little projects. I started with a single one, tiny little one that lets you make one hole at a time. And it takes forever, but it works. And then I bought this thing. So this makes it a lot faster. Check it out. We're gonna make our pocket hole on the ones that we marked. All right, so we're gonna do the bottom ones. These are on the regular 90 degree ones. And you just put your board, push this thing down, and automatically it adjusts for the width of your material. Comes with this drill bit, and you make your holes. Alright, release it, and then you're left with your pocket holes. This is a pocket screw, it has this head, that's what grabs on inside the hole. All right, and so this goes inside here, pops up, and that's how you attach it. We've got our bottom base piece here. This is the way it's gonna go, and we're gonna mark a quarter inch here for uh, separation and then an inch on each side. We're gonna let that dry for like 30 minutes. I gotta run to the store and then we'll come back and finish. Alright guys, we're back. Here is our finished product. We're gonna sand a little bit and then we're gonna do a stain with this just natural stain from Verathane. Uh, which is gonna make the cedar color pop out a little bit. Didn't wanna do too much, so let's jump right into it. Racks in my sack, curve my back. Yeah. Frozen. 
neck is frozen. Catch me rolling. I'm the chosen. Snow is falling. Elfie's calling. Check my list twice. Most of y'all done. Slave house free.